Welcome everybody, come on in. My name is Rachel. We're gonna get started with a one mile gentle walk. All right, let's get to moving and I'll tell you about this workout. There we go. All right, so although this is our gentle walk, I did not pick really slow spa type music, okay? We still wanna feel energized and awake during this workout. So this would be a great workout to do at the beginning of your day, just to kind of wake up, start to move your muscles, get some blood flowing, all right? And especially if this is your active recovery day, this would be a great workout, okay? You're just kind of getting some steps in. We're just moving a little bit. Our range of motion is gonna be pretty small during this whole 15 minutes of one mile workout. All right, nice good breath in and out. All right, single side steps, here we go. Step, step, step. You can also do this workout at the end of the day when you just need to kind of get ready for bed to kind of wind down, get those muscles moving. If you sit a lot for your job, this will be great to just kind of stretch out your body, your legs, your lower back in time to relax for bedtime. There we go, nice good side step. So we're just going to a lot of our basic steps, keeping that range of motion pretty small, like I said, nothing complicated. All right, so our beats per minute, we're at about 130 or less, okay? So this is typically about the beat that I use for our warm-ups and cool downs with my full length walk aerobic classes, okay? So it's nothing too fast. All right, back to our walking. In four, three, two, one, back to walking. There we go. So I'm just letting my arms sway. If you want to do a little bigger arms, you can do that. This is also a great option as an extended cool down. There we go. We won't be doing much stretching after this. Since this is just a quick one mile workout. All right, let's go two up and two back, keeping our movements small like this. One, two, back, back, up, and back. Nice good inhale and exhale as we're moving forward and back. There we go. All right, two more. And back. All right, one more to the front. All right, let's go back to those single side steps. We're keeping it basic right now with this first song, reviewing our walking in place, our single side steps. We're gonna go to our knee lifts and our front kicks in just a second. All right, in four, three, two, one, head back to your walking. All right, let's do some little kicks to the front. In four, three, two, one, kick it out. Shoulders in line with our hips, keeping that core tucked in, our tummy tight. There we go. In four, three, two, one, back to our walking. All right. Two up and two back. One, two, back, back, up, and back. Two more. So you don't need a lot of room for this workout. All right, stay here. Let's go to those single knee lifts. They look like this. In four, three, two, one, knee up, 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 up. Opening up those hips, raising those knees. Knee up, up, up. Keep it up. going four, three, two, one, go back to your walking. All right, let's end the song with two up and two back again. Here we go. One, two, back, back, up, and back. So we have three songs to this mile, but 
our pace, our beats are gonna stay the same, okay? So we're staying at this nice, gentle pace. And one, two, back, back, up. All right, stay in place. All right, nice, good breaths. All right, I gotta turn this up a little bit. That's too low. So unfortunately, when you put music playlists together, some songs end up being a little higher, a little louder than others, but I wanna make sure that you can hear that music above me. It's really important so that we can walk to the beat. All right, let's do some heel digs. They look like this, okay? Heel, 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 heel. Digging those heels in. All right, let's slowly do arm raises as we do this. So one, two, three, four, then down, two, three, four, up. And down. Up. Excellent job, last one. All right, head back to your walking. All right, let's do some little sidey, tiny side steps. So listen to your body. If you wanna do a little bit bigger range of motion, if you're using this kind of like as a warm up to start your day, you can do bigger ranges of motion than me, okay? All right, step, step, step. All right, we're rolling those shoulders back. So you make this workout your own, okay? Whether you want to go a little slower than me, a little faster than me. There we go. If you've taken my classes before, then you know that you can increase your range of motion, increase your heart rate by doing bigger movements. That's what increasing your range of motion means, okay? And also doing more upper body exercises, back to our walking. Anytime you have your hands above your heart working, okay, you're gonna get a bigger calorie burn because you're making it a more total body workout, okay? Now for this specific walk, I won't be doing a lot of upper body exercises. I'm just gonna be keeping my arms down. Two up and two back, then we'll add on one, two, back, back, up. Slow arms. We do this in class a lot because it helps to just kind of get the blood flowing with that upper body. And you don't even have to go all the way up with those arms. You can go halfway and down, up and down. One more. Let's go back to those side steps again. Step, 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 step. There you go. Snapping is optional. You don't have to snap. All right, keep it up. Step, step, step. The snapping threw me off my beat. <laughs> there we go, snap, snap. All right, here we go in four, three, two, back to our walking. So even though I'm taping these workouts for you, sometimes I get a little messed up. You know that with take, taking my live in-person classes, sometimes I say the wrong things. Sometimes I tell you to do something and my legs don't do it. All right, we're just real people, real walkers, just trying to get our exercise in. All right, let's go back to those heel digs in four, three, two, one, heel, 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 heel. So digging in the heel in four, three, two, one, come back to your walking. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let me show you the difference really quick. As I'm talking to you as a walker, 
who I don't know if you've taken my other workouts before or if this is your first workout with me, okay? So your range of motion, when I was talking about that, keeping it small looks like this. If we were in our regular warm up, getting ready to increase our pace, we would be doing bigger ranges of motion, picking up those legs more, swinging those arms more, okay? So that's what I talk about with increasing or decreasing our range of motion. All right, let's get to our last song with this mile. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, let's go to some knee lifts. We haven't done them since our warm up. Now you can do the same range of motion. I may bring my knees up a little higher because we're warmed up some. In four, three, two, one, knee lift up. and then we're gonna go right to our kicking, okay? Four, three, two, one, kick it out. Nice, good kicks to the front. Four, three, two, one, back to our walking. All right, let's open up our hips some more, walking wide, all right? So you can see that my feet are wider now instead of our normal walking stance, okay? Opening up those hips. Walking wide, walking narrow in four, three, two, one, narrow. Four, three, two, one. Out, two, three, four, in twos. One, two, out, out, in, in, out, out. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, stay here with your body. All right, let's go to our kickbacks. We're staying straight up and tall, leg curls in four, three, two, one, curl, 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 curl. Does this pace feel good to you? Does this feel good to your body to kind of make things a little more gentle, decrease that range of motion? Still we're moving though. We still have some good music, like I said. I didn't want to pick some sleepy bedtime music. <laughs> Maybe that'll be another one. We do like a before bed gentle walk or something. Four, three, two, one back to our walking. All right, bringing those legs back together to feet hip width. Heel digs, back to those heel digs one more time before we end this mile. There we go, heel, heel, heel. Back to our walking, here we go. One, two, three, four. Two up and two back. Moving up, moving back. One, Two, back, back, up, back. One more. All right, back to those single side steps. Step, step. Do I think I can have my, my snaps back in without messing up? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Step, 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 step. In four, three, two, one. Head back to our walking. All right, let's end with some single side taps. Stretching that foot out, working those inner thighs. Not a big range of motion, we're just stepping out. There we go. Let me show you from the side. Four, three, two, 
one. Come back to your walking. All right, nice, good inhale and exhale with those arms. Let's end, here we go. Inhale and exhale. One more. And exhale. Plant those feet. One step forward, let's stretch out those calves super quick. All right, nice, good breath in and out. You guys did amazing today. Thank you so much for joining me for this 15 minute, one mile gentle walk. I hope that if you're beginning your day or ending your day, you feel calm or energized, whatever you're using this workout for, and that this was a good pace for you and to practice with doing uh, decreasing and increasing our range of motion. Thanks so much for choosing to walk and work out with me today. Take care and I'll see you soon.